Hello, welcome to this series on illustration in the sciences and engineering. I am Dr. Babila Tachu. In this video, we are going to learn how to obtain free vector artwork of images from a page Smart Severe and edit them in Inkscape. In the previous video, you saw how we could do this from Reactome. The artwork in Reactome is usually very simple. At times, you may need more complicated artwork, like those of organs, and your skill set is not up to the level, you can draw them yourselves, nor are you in a position to pay an illustrator to get this done. If that is your worry, you may be up for surprises. There is actually good news for you. There are many sites out there offering royalty-free vector artwork you can obtain and adapt for your illustrations. In the previous video, we used the site Reactome. In this video, I am going to show you how to obtain artwork on human anatomy and the body and edit in Inkscape. This could be organs like the brain, the heart, lungs, etc. The link to go to is smartsevier.com, which provides completely cost and royalty-free artwork for any use with Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 unported license. It is presently at about 4,301 custom-made vector illustrations for most especially organs that will be hard for you to do, except you have attained a high level of expertise in medical illustration. By the way, I wish to sincerely thank SmartSevier for making all this work available for free. SmartSevier has artwork on anatomy and the human body, cellular biology, medical specialties, and general items and medical devices, Click on Medical Specialties, Cardiology and Phlebology. You can download the entire set here. And below you have different vector artwork. Here you can view. Next, you can download a bitmap here. And this last one is more important as you can open the illustration in PowerPoint. Click on that and it will open straight up in PowerPoint if you have installed it on your computer. Click on OK to open. To use this as a vector artwork, go to File, Print. Choose a PDF printer on your computer and print a PDF. To learn how to convert MS Office documents from Word or PowerPoint to vector graphic, please visit my video in the description section under this video. You can now open the PDF in Inkscape by pulling and dropping on the page. This window will come up. Here you could choose a page, leave everything at default and click OK. It is now opened in Inkscape. Select the object and go to Object, on Group, And now you can individually select this background stuff and delete them. Equally, you can select the text, delete them or modify them to your taste. If you have a lot of text and wish to delete them all at once, there is a quicker method instead of pointing and deleting them one by one. I have a link to a video tutorial on that in the description section below. Now let's go to the object. You can select individual parts and change their colors. Let us try this one. It is called the iota. Select it, then go to object. Fill and Stroke and set the fill to flat color and adjust the color to a new one. And this, we repeat the same procedure. Select the object and we can change the color. You notice that there are some objects below others. To select them, you need to use a different skill set. I have a video for you in the link below showing the techniques you can use to select objects lying below others. However, clicking on individual items and changing them can be time consuming. Also, with the bucket fill tool, you can let the set color be filled into different objects. Select the bucket fill tool and the present fill color will be used. Then click on individual parts you wish to recolor. I am going to try coloring a part of the organ. 
then take Ctrl Z to go back. Alternatively, you can choose and edit all colors of the same fill color. Press N to switch to the Note tool or use the Note tool up here. I choose the Note tool as I want us to select this little orange structure down here, which may be otherwise difficult to select directly with the selection tool. Point on that little part and click. The notes will be highlighted. Hit the spacebar to switch to the selection. Then go now to Edit, select the same, and then Fill Color. Go back to the Fill and Stroke palette. You will now have all objects of the same fill color selected. You now can then change their color all at once. Let us now go ahead and change their color. Amazing, isn't it? You can also do this via the XML editor. I have a link to a video tutorial in the description section below on how this can be done. I hope to have given you a brief introduction to how you can download and use images from smartsavier.com. Especially, we have learned how to convert them to vectors and edit the vectors in Inkscape. If you have been using the previous videos to learn how to draw figures and do illustrations, please comment below and share your experience and expectations with those who are just about beginning. Especially, let us know which other sites you know where one can obtain free ad work. If this is your first time here, I would like to have you give a thumbs up below and subscribe because this video series is all about helping you to effectively illustrate and communicate your research results or work. And a mastery of these skills is going to be a game changer. And this is going to change your study and work life positively. Otherwise, see you in the next video where we will learn how to quickly edit complex three-dimensional or multi-layered illustrations like the human body parts and organs we can obtain freely from sites like SmartSavier. Especially, we shall learn how to select several parts of such an illustration based on shared properties like color or object type and many other properties and edit them all in one go. Bye-bye.